based on the number of videos out there on the internet, removal of a seized seat post due to either corrosion or what we call galling can be a really difficult, if not impossible, task. We're going to show you some ways to prevent this from happening because prevention is really the name of the game. You may say that, well, my saddle height is fine. Why don't I have to go through any kind of maintenance? Well, if you're swapping out an old saddle for a new one, the height from the top of the saddle down to the bottom of the rails may be different. You may decide to change crank arm length, as I've done here, which will require an adjustment to saddle height. Or maybe a change in seat height will increase comfort. Let's take a look at how we can prevent seizure of the post itself. First thing is to mark the seat post with a piece of tape. So we know how far to reinsert the post when we finish without having to measure. Now we can remove the post, wipe it clean, remove the clamp, we may require a hex to loosen the bolt to get that clamp off. I also want to get any old grease or grime out of the seat tube itself and what I have is a old metal hanger that I've straightened out with some pliers. My cleaning cloth, I'll take a corner of it and stuff it as far as I can down into the tubing. Swirl it around a couple of times to get any old grease or dirt out. Clean the seat post clamp. In this case we have a quick release. Go ahead and try to get at the areas of old grease, the cotton swab. If this is off of a mountain bike that gets very dirty, you may want to remove the bolt completely and clean. And then go ahead and apply a dab of grease to areas that you can get at. And we're set. Now for reassembly, we'll put our clamp back on. There we go. We'll apply I like to use either fibro grip, which is made for carbon fiber, but you can use it on alloy and steel, or park ASC anti seize, which will prevent any slippage. Okay. Insert it to where our tape is. Make sure it's lined up with the top tube. We may have to tighten the bolt with our hex key. Until we can get this nice and firm. How often? Probably yearly at routine maintenance, maybe a little more often on your mountain bike depending on the conditions that you ride in. If you perform such maintenance or have further suggestions, please comment below. Also subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.